Hello everyone. I am Dr. Milind Naik and I am an eye plastic surgeon. Today we'll talk about twitching of the eyelid which in some countries including India has superstitious beliefs around it although with slight variations in the story. Sometimes they say it brings wealth and sometimes it's supposed to be a bad luck sign. Is that really true or is there any science behind it? Let's talk about the scientific part of twitching of the eyelid. So there are three basic types of eyelid twitchings of which the first one which is orbicularis myokemia is a non neurological and the commonest one and the other two are hemifacial spasm and blepharospasm and we'll discuss about each of them here orbicularis myokemia is a eyelid twitching which we all must have experienced sometime in our life it is a non neurological condition which is often triggered by lack of sleep change of time zones excessive tea or coffee and caffeine and even alcohol increased amount of stress and fatigue can also lead to these kind of eyelid twitches orbicularis myokemia is self limiting when it is less than 3 months duration it is not classified as a neurological disorder and it often is relieved on its own without any consequences the second type is benign essential blepharospasm or simply called as blepharospasm where both the eyelids have involuntary closure which is spasmodic in nature or sometimes increased blink rate this can affect a person's vision because the eye is remaining shut for a longer duration of time and it can interfere in your day to day activities this is basically neurological without any identifiable pathology on the scan so if you perform a ct scan or an mri it will usually turn out to be normal blepharospasm usually starts in the middle age and the elderly and is often a lifelong condition to be treated with medications the third type of facial spasm is hemifacial spasm where one half of the face shows intermittent involuntary twitching this is usually caused by an abnormal blood vessel at the exit of the seventh or the facial nerve at the brain and these constant pulsations of the artery irritates the nerve which starts to twitch on the face on one side some rare neurological conditions such as parkinson's disease uh, bell's palsy and even multiple sclerosis can lead to facial twitchings therefore it's always good to have an evaluation done by a neurologist spasms are not gender specific and they can affect anyone they are generally rare in children most commonly it is seen in adults and elderly so which spasms require treatment myokemia as i said is self limiting and does not require any treatment but just lifestyle changes from your side hemifacial spasm has a temporary treatment in the form of botulinum toxin or we can perform a surgical separation of the abnormal blood vessel from the nerve in the brain that's a neurosurgical procedure blepharospasm where you have twitching of both the eyes often requires botulinum toxin injections intermittently over the lifetime blepharospasm can also be treated with surgery called myectomy if botulinum toxin is not working in a given patient to summarize uh, myokemia does not require any medical therapy whereas blepharospasm and hemifacial spasm may require botulinum toxin injections both of them can also be corrected surgically if injections is not an option if you want to know more about this you can consult an oculoplastic surgeon near you or you can also write to me via email and i'll be happy to answer your questions if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you like this channel and its contents please subscribe the channel and thank you so much for watching